Yo, what's going on guys? Hexmurder here. Just finished making this neat little tool that uh, really helps in creating and finding signatures. Um, I initially made this like just for myself to help, you know, speed up the process, but it's actually pretty good, so I, I might as well throw it up here on the internet. Um, so, first of all, this is your input box here. It's not the prettiest GUI, but like I said, I just made it for myself. But it works great. So let's just say this is our signature here. Add it to the list. Add it to the list again. Um, this signature is the same as this. So when we generate it, that's what we get. But uh, for example, if we change one of those, add it to the list, this one is obviously different. So when we generate it, now we have some question marks there. So that's how that works. Um, it becomes useful in the fact that you can attach to any game. Scroll down here. Got Spyro 3 loaded up on an uh, emulator right here. And I'm looking for the base entity uh, address. And that changes in every single level. So I'd have to literally find it in, I don't know, like 20-some 20 20 some levels if I was going to do this without pattern scanning. And I really had a hard time finding the pattern, so that's why I made this tool. And uh, it works great. So uh, I already found the base address in a few levels. So the base address for this level is right here. So we'll pop that in. Remember, we already attached the EPSXE right here. Pop the address in. Um, we'll do a size of 32 bytes. It reads the memory right here for us. Add it to the list. Actually, um, let me delete these other ones first. So add that to the list. My computer runs so slow when I'm recording. Sorry about that. I'll go to another level. Same thing. I already found the address here, so I'll just pop it in here. Dump it. Add it to the list. OK. Go to one more level just to be safe. Got the address here. Paste it. Dump it. Add it. All right. So now we just hit generate. And it generates a signature for us. Uh, you would do this for as many levels as you need until you go into Cheat Engine. I'm just going to go ahead and skip all these zeros and question marks because it's Usually zeros and question marks are useless. Um, so we'll just copy there. You can do an array of byte scan. First scan. There we go. We're already down to just two addresses. So, you know, just a couple more levels and we'll probably find it. And if we use the whole signature, let's see what happens. It finds one. So that, that already works. Go to a new level. Oh, not quite. So we'd have to dump this level and see see which bytes change there. But generally that's how it works. Uh, you can do that on any game. Uh, you could do it for a pointer, you know. Mess around with it, have fun. I'll put a download link in the description on YouTube or uh, whatever website I throw it up on.